P90-style pickup was invented by Walt Fuller of Gibson in 1946 and is still regarded by some as Gibson's greatest ever pickup. But what exactly is it? And how does it compare to other pickups? Why have Gretsch introduced this into their new Streamliner range? And how does it compare to the classic Gretsch Filtertrons? Let's take a look. With the development of Alnico in the 1930s, this meant that smaller, more powerful components could be used, resulting in a new style of pickup. Now, initially designed to replace the thinner sounding single coils that featured on the ES150 models, the P90 pickup was designed with a shorter, wider coil wound to a much higher inductance, resulting in a ballsy, more powerful, darker sound. After a few tweaks, Gibson eventually settled on the Alnico 5s, and this louder, more powerful pickup first made its appearance in the 1952 Gibson Les Paul, and still to this day, the P90 pickup appears in a whole bunch of brand new guitars. Just a quick side note, if you are interested in the exact science of how a P90 works, um, because pickups can be quite complicated to explain in terms of in exactly what's going on, um, then look it up on YouTube. Rhett Scholl does a really good one looking at the P90 pickup and explains um, exactly what's going on. And maybe if you are interested in pickups and how they work, humbuckers, single coils, filtertrons, P90s, then leave us a comment in the comments box below and it's a video that we will dedicate our time to in the future. Now, when we think Gretsch, we think Filtertron pickups. These are essentially low output humbuckers, which sport taller, narrower coils than their more traditional Gibson style cousins. The result is a higher frequency response and a much trevelier and brighter sound. So the big question, why have Gretsch put P90s into their Streamliner range? Well, for one, I think it's a very popular choice. I have seen countless mods of this happening Anyway, people have taken out their filtrons and they've put P90s into their Gretsch guitars. Gretsch are simply listening to what people want. So I guess the question would then be, why are people making these mods? And I think it's because P90s and filtrons kind of both share a gutsy, ballsy rawness. Therefore, P90s kind of lend themselves to the kind of traditional music that Gretsches are known for. The P90 just has a grittiness that you can't really replicate with any other pickup. If a single coil maybe isn't enough and a humbucker is too much, then the P90 sits right in the middle in its own unique sweet spot. But don't take my word for it, we have the incredible Nathan to play both the Streamliners with Filtertrons and the new Streamliners with P90s. We're gonna compare the sounds and we can see exactly what's going on.
as I mentioned, the guitars that Gretsch are offering with P90s all feature within the Streamliner range. But more specifically, they are offering it on three body shapes. They are the G2622 Centre Block, the G2665 Centre Block Junior, and the G2215 Junior Jet Solid Body. And just a little note, if the number has a T on the end, that indicates that the guitar comes with a big speed. For all the lovely specifications and information about these guitars, uh, bodywoods, uh, neck radius, and all that kind of lovely stuff, please hit the link in the description box below. It will take you to our website and you can see all of that information laid out. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'd be really interested to know your thoughts on this. P90s in Gretsch's are a very, very cool thing and I'm sure it's something that people have been waiting for for a long, long time so they don't have to mod them themselves. But let me know in the comments box below what you think. Um, I'd really love to get a discussion going uh, and talk about this. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We've got videos coming out all the time covering all the uh, lovely, lovely musical stuff that's coming out. And uh, Chris and I will see you very soon.